and there it is folks my first cast in florida in about a little over a year to be honest with you i finally made it down here guys this is the backyard of my parents retirement community i'm on a golf course pond it's early i've beaten the crowds out here to the golf course and i've got a whopper plopper whopper plopper 130 on i've got nothing but that and a spinner bait i'm going to come out here real light and just cover some water i got a little breeze this morning can't be a can't be any better i've got clouds i'm really really excited this is going to be absolutely an incredible trip and these ponds right here in my parents backyard are just a great filler for the chances and the opportunities i have to come out and do a little florida bass fishing so y'all stay tuned i'm going to start chucking and winding and see what i can come up with The fishing down here would be nothing like it was on Bugs Island when I just finished that tournament. Pre-spawn and spawning bass, I'm sure down here the spawn is way over. We are looking at uh, mid-April right now in Florida and it's gorgeous. It's actually pretty darn hot. It was almost 90 degrees yesterday in Melbourne, Florida where I visited some family before I got down here to an area just north of Fort Lauderdale is exactly where I am. And these golf course ponds are loaded. There's snakehead, I guess it's bullseye snakehead, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but uh, the Florida scene down here when it comes to what's lurking in these waters is, is often unknown in some of these bodies. I, I don't know what I'm gonna pull out of here. I've only fished uh, these ponds maybe a handful of times and every time is different and now it should be completely different because it's springtime. I've never fished here this time of year. So I'm very curious to see what I can pull off and it's spitting rain. It's actually just started raining a little bit, just a little bit. <clears throat> so let's see if that helps our fishing situation. Well, if you couldn't tell, I already made a move. The golfers are already out. These guys are out early. I had about five minutes before I had to get to the residential side, the non-golfing side to make sure I didn't get in anybody's way. Uh, a lot of areas in this community actually fish even when the golfers are out so this is a really great great spot don't have to worry about uh getting in trouble or having any issues that way i can chuck this giant 130 whopper plopper all the way across the lake practically if you didn't notice i have a 130 whopper plopper in the loon it's the black color and uh the cloudy skies are here but the water clarity is not you know normally a dark black colored whopper plopper like this i'd want to fish when it's actually tannic or stained water uh with these cloudy skies with it's pretty bright but there's still clouds i think the bone color would be better the bone color would probably be a better choice out here but it's what i brought you know this is a great nighttime bait and a great great color when the water is definitely more stained but i've had them pop up top on this uh in this kind of in this kind of conditions anyway but yeah the whopper plopper 130 guys no brainer I absolutely am dying to get my first florida bass on top it's getting later in the morning if it doesn't happen like i said i got the spinner bait and all day long in here guys i've thrown everything from drop shots to ned rigs in here and whacked them so if i have to go finesse i will and uh florida fishing it's just uh they're a dime a dozen sometimes you just have to keep on fishing at them and play the conditions it's not always fishing a barrel there's actually fishing tournaments out here some of the uh gentlemen actually get together in a fishing club and come out here and have tournaments <laughs> they have tournaments on these golf course ponds in this community it's absolutely awesome so these ponds are fish they're pr fish pretty heavily so it's not always uh an easy easy thing to just catch a fish just like that out here So if you didn't notice, I can launch, launch, absolutely launch this whopper plopper out here. And it's because of the rod I'm throwing and the reel. I've got a, it's kind of an old school. It's a speed spool BB1 by Luz. It's a Luz rod. Another one, guys, you've seen tons of these custom speed sticks. There's no sponsorship going on here, guys. I just love these rods. Super lightweight. This actually is the Magnum Bass Rod 3. It's seven and a half. So this is seven and a half power, medium, heavy, moderate, fast, absolutely perfect rod to throw a whopper plopper. A little moderate, fast, gives a little cushion with all those big, oh, did you all see that? I just got whacked right there when I stopped the whopper plopper. That's unbelievable. So I just got crushed for my first topwater bass as I'm telling you about this darn rod. 50 pound power pro braid. It is a high speed reel. And uh, with this seven foot six, you saw how, fast, how far it went. That seemed like a pretty decent fish, but I've, I've actually seen a couple tilapia and Oscar or two swimming around. And like I said, there's some, uh, there's some snakeheads in here. So who knows what's gonna come up and grab this. I'm gonna see if he wants to come back and eat. That'd be awesome. Oh my God, he came out out of nowhere. I got to pull it away from him. He actually waked to, to come get that bait. I got to go back out there and get that fish. That fish is hungry. I got to get my uh, top water game on. <laughs> I'm getting way amateur. He just destroyed it from out here somewhere. Let's see if he'll come back and eat. That was great. The first bass I ever caught out of this pond was after walking out of my parents' back door, literally on the shoreline after dusk. It was super dark with this exact bait, a black whopper plopper 130. And uh, it was the first bass I ever caught out of here. Never even saw the bite, heard the heck out of it. It was like three and a half, four pounder. There are giants in here. 
absolute giants. It was actually in the winter time. Uh, and I'm just hoping again, I could rekindle the love for that top water bite out here for my first fish. If not, no big deal. It's getting a little later in the morning. It's only about 7.30 in the morning right now. Maybe, maybe not even that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm seeing fish popping around. I know they're gonna probably hit something here eventually, but I only have so much shoreline to beat up on this side. So again, that has to be a spinnerbait for my first bass in Florida for this trip, so be it. But I'm still working that top water angle. Well, folks, if you didn't notice the sun, is out that's pretty much it that's going to have me call the whopper plopper i give it a shot try to get that top water fish for my first fish in florida for this trip but i got the spinner bait and with this bright sun a little ripple on the water a little flicker and blade uh flashing in their eyes it shouldn't be too bad a deal so let's see if we can get one on a spinner bait and i'll go from there It's a lot different than a spinnerbait after that big heavy whopper plopper. So this is just a half ounce. This is the same spinnerbait I had on down at Kerr Lake. Bugs on for my tournament. Just a half ounce war eagle with a single willow and a little Colorado. It's a white and chartreuse. I'm telling you, I don't need it. I really, what I need right now is a really natural clear color. Maybe just a white with a double willow uh, in silver because this water's clear. And now that the sun's come up, I can see just how clear it really is. It is crystal clear if you want to look down in the water with me. So the spinnerbait will get some attention. It's just not the ideal one. And again, I'm testing the waters, guys. It was almost, you know, it was really dim when I first came out here. So I didn't get a chance to really see what we're dealing with. But I got a nice fountain ahead of me with some oxygenated water. And I'm just gonna rip this through it and be out here for maybe another 20 minutes, see how it goes. Uh-huh. I just saw a swirl by a lily pad and it came up and showed itself. It was a pretty big fish. The wind is blowing just enough. I feel pretty good about the spinner bait. It could be a little smaller version, a little smaller blades. More natural color, but this is not the case because I just got my first, Mar I got my first, I just tried to say Maryland bass. I just got my first Florida bass, guys, and it's a dink. He hit hard. I just saw him swirl over there. I thought he was bigger than that, but my first Florida bass of 2019, and it only took a spinner bait to get him. The whopper plopper wasn't happening. A moving bait still got him, so I covered a lot of water. Got myself a beautiful little green bass here in Florida in the bright sunshine. Let's put it back so you can catch at least one more. All right, there's what got it done. There's that little chartreuse tipped uh, skirt. And a war eagle, one half ounce. That's a bright silver willow and a little gold Colorado. So I'm, I'm not done. I got a little more shoreline here to hit in a beautiful fountain ahead of me that might hold some fish just for the fact that they're oxygenating the water real well. But I'm happy as I can be that I got my first bass. The setup's simple. It's 15 pound test cigar and Vizex fluorocarbon. My custom speed stick by Luz and their uh, Magnum Bass Rod One. Just a seven foot medium heavy. And I got myself an old school speed spool tournament pro lose reel, high speed reel, and it's a perfect combo. It's absolutely my favorite setup for a spinnerbait. So it worked. Let's see if we can get another one to latch on here, guys. Well, I thought the sunshine was out this morning. Here comes the real sunshine. I got my little girl coming this way. Here comes Maya. Maya is excited as she can be to do some Florida fishing. And she's my little fishing partner. Come on over here. Let's introduce you to the crowd. This is Maya. So Maya is in the house and she's excited to throw down and catch a Florida bass. You want to catch a Florida bass with me? <sighs> yeah, you think you can do it? I got the heavy duty setup, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch one. I'll let you reel it in. Sound good? All right. Okay, go Austin. You want to go back reference Maya? It's probably gonna be tough fit. Oh, oh Maya, come here. Maya, I got one. Yeah. Come here, hold on. Let's go ahead. Hold it up high, up high, up high, up high. Come here, right there. Now reel, 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 reel. All right, guys, we got the second bass haunt of the day, and Austin joined us. We got Austin over here. Come on, let's see Maya catch it. It's a little one, but she got her first Florida bass. I think your first one ever. All right, so I got the kids joining me. It's about breakfast time, and I got the second one on. I'm so happy my little girl can reel it in. It's a pretty good one, right, Maya? Real, real, real. Bring it, it Bring it in here. Bring it in here. Bring it in. Good job, Maya. Look at that. <laughs> watch, watch out for the camera. Come on over here. Look, look at this, Maya. What do you think? Yeah. You can both hold it, but just don't step on any rods. Guys, this is what it's all about right here. Hanging out with the kids, coming on vacation, and having these opportunities to do a little it. bass fishing. Of course you can hold it. Let's get the hook out of the way. Make sure this is not going to hurt anybody. Watch it over here. All right, guys, come on over here. Say hi to the crowd. 
Look at the camera. Hey. Say, Austin, come say hi to the camera. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. All right. This is the deal, guys. We're going to call and go get some breakfast. We got two bass in. We just started the trip to Florida, Good so there's a lot back. more to come. So you all just stay tuned. As always, appreciate you joining that's, that's me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet it. again. That's it. Over and out.